This is a king cobra. One of the most dangerous snakes on the planet. This guy can pump you with enough venom to fill up to a hundred African elephants. And their venom is a fast acting neurotoxin. Literally within minutes, you start to feel the effects. You're gonna start to get shortness of breath. Your nervous system is gonna slowly shut down and typically within a very short time, maybe as little as five to 10 minutes, you're gonna go unconscious, go into a coma. And if not treated quickly, you're gonna have fatality. This is a snake you don't wanna muck with. And this is a brain. Neurotoxins from snakes like king cobras affects the nervous system including things in the brain. Those are hypodermic needles just pumping venom in, gets into your bloodstream. It's gonna go throughout your entire nervous system, start firing things off. This is gonna definitely affect anything like the brain tissue here. So it's gonna be really interesting to see how that venom actually affects this brain tissue. And my buddy Deb is the one that brought this absolutely gorgeous king cobra named Taco. You can actually follow their whole antics on Instagram. So do me a favor, hit him up over there. Follow this amazing animal. Link is gonna be in the description. You definitely don't wanna miss out on that one. And this is the dangerous part. We actually have to get him behind the head so we can actually milk. So I'm gonna slowly kind of work my way up and just kind of grab it right like that. Now I have control of this animal. I have a little flask here. Oh, I tell you what, this is definitely the sketchy part because the venom yield on this is absolutely ridiculous. Let's see what we could get. Oh, so reluctant to bite. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, there we go. It's biting. Got a little bit of venom in there. We could get a better yield than that. There's no doubt about that. Come on, Taco. There it is. There's some of that venom pumping out right now. You can see that venom in the bottom there. Who doggy? That is some potent stuff right there. Slowly put down, I'm gonna count to three and let go. One, two, three. And just so you know, we have Karen, a registered nurse here, just in case anything bad were to happen. And not only is Karen here to keep me safe, but later on in the vlog, she's actually gonna be drawing blood. You guys know that I love getting my blood drawn, right? And we're gonna actually use that as a control as well with some King Cobra venom to see what will happen with the actual blood. Because like I mentioned, you will get some necrosis and potentially lose limbs if you get bitten by a King Cobra, but typically the neurotoxin is what it's about. But hey, if we're gonna do it, we might as well see what effects it has on my blood. Taco is such an amazing snake and so docile that I probably didn't have to be worried at all. Dev has worked with this animal since it was a tiny baby. It's really, truly amazing the relationship they think these two have together. Still gotta be careful with this thing because it's a King Cobra and King Cobras definitely have some extremely potent venom. And take a look at this venom right here. You get that in you, it's gonna be pumping through your system. So we're gonna find out what this does to this brain. Now, let's think about this. This. If you were getting bit by a king cobra just like this, this hypodermic needle is gonna push the venom into your blood system. That blood system is gonna then generate it throughout your entire body and the nervous system within probably 15 or 20 seconds. Number one, your adrenaline's gonna get rushing, which is the worst thing that can possibly happen because that's gonna have your blood flow even more and it's gonna get it further through your system quicker. You're gonna start to feel fuzzy, lightheaded. You're gonna start to have your nervous system slowly shut down. Maybe your respiratory system shuts down. Every part of your body is gonna start to shut down and it's gonna happen pretty quick. Usually within the first couple minutes, you're going to be feeling major effects and you could potentially go completely unconscious within the first five minutes. If you have an anaphylactic shock, it's going to happen even quicker. Sometimes within 30 to 60 seconds it can happen. So we're going to find out over the next 24 hours what this spot right here that's injected with King Cobra venom is actually going to do. And what you have to understand about a King Cobra is the actual toxicity of the venom is not the biggest issue. They're probably only in the top 25 when it comes to potency. Drop for drop, when you go against an inland taipan to a King Cobra, it's not nearly as toxic, but they have the second largest venom yield on the planet, meaning that when they hit you and pump you with those hypodermic needles, they're gonna pump tons of venom into you, and then you're gonna end up like this, where your brain is gonna be being affected along with everything else in your nervous system. As we're waiting for that venom to affect the brain tissue, guess what? It's my turn to be the guinea pig next. We're gonna test our blood. You guys know that this is the worst part. You know, I'd rather grab a king cobra than get my blood drawn, but hey, we're doing this. I'm entrusting Karen with my life here, and tell me what you want me to do. Nothing, just relax. Relax, right? Trying to relax. It's hard to relax. The things I'll do for this vlog. Do me a favor. I'm, I'm sacrificing a lot here. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe where you're down there. Comment what you guys think while you're down there too. Here we go. Oh, she's good. I barely felt it. That might be the best blood draw I've ever had. But now I'm not getting any blood. Oh, here it comes. Good news is I don't get queasy around blood. That's at least a good thing, but I never like getting poked or prodded. That's no doubt about that. Do I get a sucker? I after? brought donuts. Donuts? She's not only drawing my blood, but she brought donuts. This is gonna be a good day. Oh, 
Beautiful. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm glad that part is over. So here's the blood, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some blood in this little container here, and then this will be actually the control. And that way we could see what the difference is between the venom is doing to my blood. Now what happened when we did the rattlesnakes is that after just a short period of time, the blood was loose and basically almost like watery, whereas the normal blood clotted up and was really thick. So I'm expecting the same thing, but I'm not really sure. So what we're gonna do is take this little pipette and we're gonna suck out a bunch of the venom here. Look at all that venom here. That venom is enough to kill a man potentially within a handful of minutes. We're gonna go ahead and just insert this into my blood right here. Well, that's a good amount of venom right there. You can just see it bubbling up right there. So we're gonna set this aside as well. This is the venom here. This is the brain here with the venom in it. And then this is the control blood here that has nothing in it. So we're gonna find out what happens to the blood, what happens to the blood that has the king cobra venom in it. And then we're gonna find out what happens to brain tissue when it comes to king cobra venom. Now you gotta remember that when the blood is pumping that venom through, it's gonna have a much more toxic effect on the brain. But I still am very curious about the brain tissue with neurotoxin like king cobra venom. While we're waiting, we might as well look at another absolutely gorgeous venomous snake. I mean, look at that face on this animal. This, of course, is a rhino viper from Africa, one of the most gorgeous naturally occurring snakes on the planet. These guys pack quite the punch, one of the fastest striking snakes on the planet as well, so you wanna make sure you don't get too close to them because these guys can spring as well. They can literally shoot one, one and a half times the body length. They have this extremely interesting way of crawling. Take a look at this. It's called caterpillaring, and it's really crazy. Unlike a snake that typically slithers like this, it'll actually caterpillar, which is just really amazing. Now, unlike the king cobra, these guys have something that's called hematoxin. Now, again, the king cobra venom is gonna affect the nervous system. These guys are gonna affect your circulatory system and basically just necrot all the skin and tissue, absolutely making unbelievably painful and necrotic bites. These bites definitely are very, very serious, and a gaboon viper or a rhino viper bite is ridiculous. You never ever want to take a bite by something like this. It is going to definitely ruin your day, put you in the hospital, and there's a good chance you're going to lose some digits wherever you get bit. So I definitely respect an animal like this, but wow, look at how gorgeous it is, the pattern, the color. The reason it's called that rhino viper is because those unbelievably cool horns on it. I tell you what, this is amazing. I don't think I want to get too close to this animal though, because I tell you what, that thing could put a bite on you. There's no doubt about it, but wow, that thing is gorgeous. And while we're doing venomous stuff, you might see I have a little shield on here. This is actually an Indo-Chinese black and white bidding cobra baby. Absolutely adorable. And again, these guys have a little bit different venom system and the fact that they actually spit their venom. Guys, even at this size, can spit up to five feet or so. It's absolutely wonderful. Look at how they hood like this. And this one's not even spitting, which is really cool. These guys will get, you know, six, seven foot long. They're in jet black and white. Absolutely beautiful animals. I tell you what, there's nothing like a cobra. So intelligent, so amazing. Such a beautiful animal. And you think that an animal this size right here could really pack a punch, not only with that venom shooting, but also the fact that they bite you, it's the same situation. There's still a hypodermic front fang a lapid, so they're gonna bite you as well, but again, they use that spitting to keep their prey away from them. Wow, this thing is absolutely adorable. So it's been 24 hours, and I tell you what, the results are pretty amazing. Take a look at the brain here. All of the juice and all of the rotting that has happened where I injected it, definitely crazy. I mean, that is a lot of nastiness right there. And then take a look at this. This is my blood. Look at how congealed it is, right? It won't even fall. Look at that. And that's what normal blood does, is that it clots up like that, right? But take a look at this. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Super liquidy. There's a little bit, but wow, look at the difference between these two bloods right here. This is the King Cobra Venom here on my right hand, and this is my normal blood right there. That is crazy. This is neurotoxin. It's not hematoxin that is actually typically doing stuff, but that gives you an idea of the hematoxic properties that are in King Cobra Venom. And then you certainly see what happens here with neurotoxin in that tissue breakdown. Wow, that was way cooler than I ever expected. That experiment was amazing. I don't know what else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, do I get a sucker? I after brought donuts.